45 years ago, as the McGurk's Bar families prepared to bury our loved ones, the British government and the Unionist politicians, the RUC and the British Army of the day were prepared to bury the truth along with them. And we know this because we've now found the secret documents that have been hid from the public for 45 years. These documents prove that the bomb disposal expert was convinced that the bomb was placed in the entranceway. We always knew that the bomb was placed here, but according to the disinformation of the RUC, the British Army and the Unionist politicians, they have always blamed the family members here of being the bombers, that they were somehow making the bomb that exploded prematurely. But we have now covered the evidence, the proof positive that shows in black and white that the British Army's own bomb disposal expert was convinced that the bomb was placed in the entranceway. He relayed that message to the British government, to the GOC and to the Unionist politicians who instead of acting upon it, instead went on a campaign of disinformation, denial and delay of the truth for the last 45 years. So we've invited the Chief Constable and he was de decent enough to come down to meet us. He's considered a meeting which may or may not happen. But the problem is this, the Chief Constable says one thing and does another. He says he doesn't want to defend the indefensible, but at the same time he sends this email to the families. And the email says that the record that the families have found that was uncovered by Kieran McCart over a year ago is not going to be opened and is going to be closed to the family members and our legal team for the next 84 years. So something has to give. We're now calling on the Chief Constable to act on the information that has been presented by the families and given to him to quash the HCT report and to grant us a new inquest. Well, this is almost 45 years, I think on Sunday it's 45 years since the uh, McGurk Bar's bombing went off. The families are going to deny the third generation are trying to get uh, truth and justice. I've asked a question in the board, I'll, I'll be asking at the public session, uh, about the Ombudsman report, which said that there was investigative bias and, and getting from the uh, Chief Constable that he agrees with that. The one piece of information which I think is important is that the ATO, that's the British Army uh, um, bomb disposal guy at the time, the guy who investigated it, said at the time, and this is important, so in 1971 said that the seat of the explosion was in the, the entrance hall to it, so clearly against all the propaganda that was put out at the time by both the RUC and the British Army, uh, here was a, a British soldier who was actually saying this bomb was planted, it was nothing to do with the people in the bar, and that is a very important piece of evidence.